Hi there, Jeff Coughlin, Editor Scale Modelling Now. Welcome to this inbox browse of the new FX Hawker Hunter F4, F5, J34. So as you can see from the box, you get three options for completing uh, your Hawker Hunter. And having built the, um, the F6, which came out uh, previously, and you can find the full build of that in um, the FX pages in Aircraft Finish Now in the SMN um, uh, I, I like the model. I mean, it did and does have one or two uh, drawbacks, and we'll get to those in just a second, but but fairly minimal. Mostly those are detail or lack of um, issues, but in terms of shape um, and pretty much ease of build, I, it's it's a bit of a breeze. I mean, I really like the model. I think it's it, it's great. looks every bit uh, Hawk Hunter, as you would expect. Um, okay, so let's get into it and um, see what we've got. So we'll just get the box out of the way. So... Um, primary sort of differences really between the F4 and the earlier release is the fact that you need um, or you have a, a straight wing leading edge with the F4 um, and uh, other than that there's not a huge uh, amount to get excited about but you get the changes within the uh, within the new kit so this is one of the original sprues here which you, you've got with again with the kit uh, break down the fuselage really I think really nice refined panel lines I like the panel line detail I think that's really good um, you've still got the original tail cones uh, with the para brake housing fitted for, for the original F6 uh, release so this initial sprue is pretty much well it's exactly the same as it was before one of the criticisms in fact of, of the first release was that the um, speed brakes that uh, drop down the flaps um, have no detail within them at all well they still don't so uh, that's not been corrected by FX, it's a bit of a shame, but perhaps, you know, it didn't justify a, a read change in the tooling. Either way, um, that is a disappointment because you can't really have the flaps deployed um, without exposing that complete lack of detail. Uh, what I did on my model was a sort of a halfway house, really. I just had them cracked open as if they were beginning to bleed down. So that's a quick way, an easy way of, of masking that issue there. Uh, moving on to the wings um, and the main upper fuselage, uh, you, you can see the breakdown very clearly. Uh, here in the video but if we just flick it over um, you can see that essentially this is where we've got the uh, options uh, for, for change because the um, <coughs> sawtooth in the leading edge is already recessed on the inside of the uh, halves upper and lower wing halves and so all you need to do is simply score around the lines drop out um, the existing parts and then slip in the new upper and lower wing inserts that just drop into those slots. Um, sounds a bit um, um, a bit serious. It's not. Uh, it, it really isn't going to be difficult. Uh, that assumes that that all fits fine. But there's no reason to think that that it won't. Uh, so that should be a straightforward swap in and out job. Bit of nice detail in the wheel wells, which is good. Got the wing uh, drop tanks. Um, I'm pretty sure that you just need two on the F4 rather than the later F6, which had options for adding um, the pair of inboard uh, tanks. But check out your references for that. But the bottom line is that you get um, a couple of drop tanks, which is uh, good. Um, cockpit detail is um, OK. It's kind of fine for, for, for the, the, the model and the scale, I think. Get some nice raised detail here on the, the main instrument panel. I think that's really good. Decent race detail on the side cockpit consoles. Um, the counter cockpit isn't overly complicated anyway, so you can always add some more detail should you want, but um, pretty much what's there I think is, is okay. You've got the molded in straps there into the ejector seat, um, or not. I like the fact you get the option to add your own, which is also uh, included in the kit. Um, separate tyres, I like that over the hubs, that makes life a bit easier there, which is really good. Um, coming around to the clear parts, those are really clear. Nice option for open or closed canopy. Um, those fit nicely from the original build and uh, look, look, look excellent, um, which is great. Also, no mould seam lines at all down those canopies, which is a bit of an advantage. Um, the decal sheet, um, I love the AFX decal sheets these days. They've certainly cracked that. Those should be really good. Um, they should go down well. And in this case, they're lovely in register. Perfect, and as you can quite clearly see from the sheet, you get three very good options. You've got uh, a Belgian Air Force camoed uh, machine, sort of grey and green uh, aircraft. You've got an RAF 
Um, number one squadron, um, Operation Musketeer, RAF, Station Nicosia, Cyprus, September to November 1956. Obviously distinctive because it's got the red and black striping. Personally, I would spray those. I wouldn't apply the decals, but that, of course, is a matter for you. Um, and I think one of the nicest inclusions is the option for a sw uh, Swedish air aircraft. And if we just come over to the instruction sheets, which are all nicely in colour, uh, I really like that machine. That's just a bit different. Um, so that's going to appeal to many, not least of which because it doesn't have a, a natural metal or silver uh, finish. But hey ho, um, yeah, good option there. So three really colourful, uh, interesting choices. The instruction booklet is exactly what you'd expect uh, from the current um, batch of Airfix kits. Very straightforward um, and clear with no great, great issues there. And I, I found that you get plenty of warning and clarity about what you need to include, what you need to do when, so that was all good. Um, and then, of course, you get this nice clarity there uh, around uh, sections 26 and 27 showing what you need to do with those um, sawtooth leading edge replacements so that's uh, that's also good um so there we go i mean that's the instructions i wouldn't expect anything um to bite back or be difficult but i just like uh, the simplicity of the whole thing if you want you know a decent build a nice straightforward model and i, I think this is a really good option if i'm honest um i really enjoyed the uh, f6 version which was the early release and i'm sure you're going to enjoy this one too so that's the Epix um, Hawk Hunter, the F45 and J34 in 48 scale from Airfix.